right. And well, I'm going to start with you in the kitchen. Well, let's start in the kitchen because that is where we like to start when we're a little bit hungry. And we're doing so with the help of Chef Laura from Celebrated Cuisine, teaching us how to make a pasta dish, um, little like mini moon pasta. I don't know Mezzalune. how to say it. Mezzalune. 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 Okay. okay. I think Good you to have you. should do a little Italy trip and then we can practice the accent. And if eat you and are all fine, the I am flying. Oh, I'll have to remember that saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Well, you know, when I hit it big, win the lottery, whatever the well, case there you is. Go. So, yeah, so we're making a mezzalune, which is basically a ravioli, but uh -huh. the pasta has been flipped over. So instead of having to have pasta on the bottom, pasta on the top, squeeze it together, uh -huh. you know, we're going to make some. Don't worry. It'll okay. be a hands on experience. All right, because I don't feel like I'm totally getting it quite yet. Okay, well, you so will. So, what is this? So, this these are porcini mushrooms, okay? okay? So, what these were, they started off looking like this. They were dried porcinis. You can find them at the grocery store very easily. And porcini mushrooms, fresh, are hard to find out here year round. Uh, and usually, you need to go to a specialty purveyor to find them, and they can be expensive. But dried, you can buy year round, and they hold really well in your freezer as well. But what you need to do with those is rehydrate them in hot water for about 20 minutes, which is what this is. And the cool thing is, is when you put the mushrooms in here to rehydrate, you can if you want to, but it's not going to do anything at this point. Um, you cover it with plastic, and over the course of about 20 minutes, they become really nice and rich and plump again, like this. Hmm. So a dehydrated mushroom equals about like one of them would be Look almost how four. Look expanded that is. I know, right? So the cool thing too is that this liquid then gets infused with all the flavor of and the what's porcini. What's this liquid again? This is just water, and then I, it's you, as a result of the porcini oh, soaking. So we're going to use this in our sauce today. All right, so really, that's even more enhanced. It's even more flavor. enhanced, exactly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just, I'm just giving these a little fine chop. But while I'm doing that and getting it done, I'm going to have you start off by making our filling over here. So what I have you do is let that pan get hot for a second. In here, I have grapeseed oil. Mm -hmm. Grapeseed oil is a very neutral flavored oil, and I like using it. It's got some nice health benefit also. So use about half of that. You can add it in about 30 seconds. And we're going to saute off our shallots and our thyme that's right there. And once we have gotten a little bit of aromatic behavior from our shallot. Uh-huh, please. And you'll see, remember, we always want to heat the pan first and then our oil to the pan. And as a result, the oil gets hot right away. That's plenty. And then go ahead and add your shallot to that. Love, love, love see, the Oh, fragrance perfect. I love the, the sound of. I'm hearing. Perfect. And we'll give a little couple hits of a little bit of sea salt. There we go. Okay, so that's and we just, know the shallots are done when we start to smell them. Exactly, right? that's what we want. We're not going for caramelization. We just want aromatic. I smell them. You smell them? Okay. Now do I do this? If that's the case, no, not yet. That's the secret sauce right there. I'm going to add the porcini mushrooms. I want you to cook these for about three or four minutes because we really want to make sure we infuse them with the flavor of the shallot and the thyme that's in the pan, as well as some of that salt, the grapeseed oil. But as soon as that's cooked down a little bit, we're going to add what I just referred to as the secret sauce, which is this, which is some dry sherry. So dry sherry will actually bring up more of the mushroom flavor, in my opinion. Yeah. Okay? So we're going to do that. Now, and here is the rest of our filling for ricotta? the ricotta. Yeah, this okay. is ricotta cheese, as well as some Parmesan, freshly grated Parmesan. And then I actually added a little bit of fresh thyme into here as well, just so we can get a really nice thyme flavor. Because you flavor. had some thyme? Because I had thyme on my hands. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, you've been hanging out with me many, way too long. I wonder how many thyme jokes. Ridiculous jokes how? we could come up with in the next three minutes. Yeah. Ask to make my sous chef, Rodney, if you can, you can, <laughs> we can create a pun out of anything. Okay, so go ahead and add, add our sherry, sherry, and we're going to deglaze the pan with that. So dump it all in. And deglaze, meaning anything that's sticking to the pan, is going to come right back up into our mixture, as well as we're going to reduce it so it's all sec, basically there's no liquid left. So we're just about there, and when we get there, we're going to be able to add it to our ricotta mixture. This is going, oh gosh, into sorry. there. Yep. <laughs> My sleep. That's going into <laughs> there. Just scare me to death. Now in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our fabulous reduction here, or our um, soaking liquid, I'm going to run it through the strainer just in case any larger bits of dried mushrooms stay behind. I think there should be like two big ones that I threw in there. And we're going to put this on the stove and then we're going to reduce this by half so that there's half as much liquid and that will become the base for our sauce. Okay. okay, what am I looking for? Because I'm these were definitely bigger chunks before. Right. Now they're kind of shrinking, shrinking down a little bit. Exactly. And actually, we got that really nice infusion of flavor going. I think, you know, we're probably about 20 seconds away. So, whenever you want, we can add this to our filling. Do you mixture. want me to count to 20 or we're good? You know, <laughs> what language would you like to count to 20 in? I, I probably only have Spanish. That's okay. It. Well, then so let's. This goes no, no, no. We're no. going to take this I don't into think here. We have enough Oh, we don't have enough time. Oh, oh. time joke. I like it. <laughs> it's become pervasive. 
Awesome. Now that's going to be our filling. And the cool thing too, go ahead and mix that up, is that if you wanted to not go through the effort of making ravioli or whatever, mixing this up together and just tossing it with some pasta that you cook, mm -hmm. you could take a shortcut right there if you wanted to. I think that's got Andy's number on it. Yeah. She said, did I hear the word shortcut? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this looks like it's starting to melt a little. I'm going to yep. let you kind of do the in-between. Yep. We're going to fill some pasta. Roll in fill.